Welcome to Chris BI. My name is Chris. I'm here with Dax. And today we're going to be going over this amazing new feature in the February update to Power BI Desktop on how you can easily create new role level security groups. It's amazing. You got to check it out. Hey, man, if you're just chilling, trying to figure out some stuff about Power BI, well, man, I got the right channel for you. This is the stuff. Like it, subscribe, you know, turn on the alarm bell. You know, come back. Don't miss any of the future videos. This is the place to be. It's all good, man. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is all good. Ah. <laughs> okay. So the update to February 2023 is out. There's a whole bunch of great things that are out there. You do have to check it out. I'm going to post the link down below. But this new one with a role level security visual editor just blew me away. A lot of people are super intimidated by uh, creating role level security stuff. This is no longer hard to do. You're going to find it super easy, barely inconvenience. Way to check it out. All right. So I'm going to head over to Power BI Desktop. I've already opened up a file with the model in it, and I've created a visual that I'm going to want to create some role level security on. I do this so for a number of reasons. Number one, I want to make sure that I'm getting the information I'm entering right, right? Then I want to be able to test it and make sure that this information is testing out the way I'd expect it to, okay? Now, if, uh, you know, the, because this is a brand new feature, this is a preview feature you're going to have to uh, create. You're going to have to turn on inside of Power BI Desktop first. So first things you do is head into uh, File, Options and Settings, Options, and then on Preview Features, it's right down here. It's right down at the bottom. There's this new um, enhanced role level security editor. You do have to turn that on. Please note, uh, do that before you create the visuals because you're gonna have to relaunch Power BI Desktop once you do that anyway. So uh, start with that, okay? So once you've created that, you're gonna find some things that are really easy to do. So uh, once it's on, I click on manage roles. Now here are all of the roles that are inside my data model. Now, I want to create something really simple. I want to create a, a new role that just does uh, for Canada, right? So I'm going to create a new role, and I'm going to call this one uh, country. And I like my roles to be descriptive, so I'm going to call it country-ca. I'm going to click on check mark. Pro tip, if you don't have this set up right, uh, it's a you can encounter a bug where it won't save, so be aware, make sure you... Make sure you've clicked save and, or that check mark and it appears there. Okay. Then I'm going to click on my dim geography and I'm going to click on add and I'm going to choose my country region and I'm going to say equals CA. Okay. Now I'm going to click on save. When I get the green little window up here, boom, I've successfully applied role changes. Wow. That's awesome. So I can hit close. Now I can test this out by going to view as and then clicking on country CA. When I do that, oh my gosh, I'm going to see that my information is, is, is filtered down to Canada. Wow. Just, just amazing. Right now uh, I can click on stop viewing because I want to go back to this. Let's say I want to make a change to this. Okay. I want to go to manage roles and you know what that CA one. Okay. That, that, that is what it is, but really. I want it to be the like the, the like the the classic Great Britain where where we talk about Canada and England. So we're gonna say like what if it was both? Okay, so in this case it's gonna be GB. So I'm changing the name of it. I'm gonna click on click on accept changes. It's gonna lock that in, and then I'm gonna go to dim geography, and I'm gonna do a thing that to change that instead of saying equals, I'm gonna use the in function. So I've got in CA. Now I can add in here a uh, GB, hit enter. And now if I wanted to, I could continue to extend it or I can go ahead and hit save. Again, waiting till I get my little green box here saying it's been successfully applied. I hit close, I wanna test it. So I go to view as, so here's my country GB, click on that, click okay. Boom, it's all right there, super amazing. Hit stop viewing. Now, there are some limitations of this. You can't do like the dynamic role level security. You can't um, 
Uh, you can't use things like user principle and that type of uh, a thing inside of here. Uh, for that, you have to go back into the DAX editor. But you can use this as an example of how some of your real level expressions, you can use this to build out those expressions so you can see what it should look like with those user principle names. I'm gonna show you how you could do that too. So go back into manage roles. And if I click on that a country GB that I like, I've got this amazing new switch to DAX editor. I can click on that and I can see what the heck is that supposed to look like? What does that filter data look like? Aha, country region in, and then in brackets, the two items with double quotes around it. Oh, I had no idea what that syntax was supposed to look like. Now I can clearly see how, what it's supposed to look like. So I could actually go and extend this inside here to add in user principle, that type of thing uh, that you couldn't do otherwise. So super cool, great way to, to do that. And I have access to it all inside the service. It's now super easy, clicky, you know, click on these items and get it all configured. Oh, just absolutely love it. All right, Dax, so what do you think? Does that help you understand more around how you can create role of security inside your reports? I sure do. I think this is an amazing advancement inside this, uh, this already super easy to use tool, but I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how you think about this stuff. Is this something that you're gonna be using more often? Uh, you know, it's quite amazing. Do check it out. Wanna hear from you. Leave a comment down below. Forward this over to, to your coworkers and your friends and family. Heck, maybe show it to your dog and see if your dog understands it. A uh, little tip, you explain something to, to your dog about how it all works, you're gonna learn it better yourself. So uh, it's a little little secret, secret tip of the trade, all right? You guys have a fabulous day. Um, oh, before I forget, if you wanna support the channel, like and subscribe, all that stuff's good. But if you want, you can head over to CarosBI.com and buy me a coffee. I'll send you some of these new custom Power BI stickers. This month, we just, we just got in the Deneb have it your way. Ooh, let me see if I can get this in. Deneb, have it your way uh, sticker. This is brand new. We're shipping these out right now. My wife's up there folding envelopes, stuffing them full of stuff. Uh, if you want one, head over to creosbi.com. Buy me a coffee. I'll send them out. All the funds, proceeds go to serve the, the channel, uh, but mostly they're to make sure that you get all the good, high-quality stuff. So thank you guys so much. You guys have a great day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.